All right, in this video, I am going to talk about average value of a function and mean value theorem. Okay, guys. So uh, <clears throat> let me review about the uh, some. Let me give you some review about the area of uh, a rectangle. Okay. So suppose so area is given as sixteen. Okay. So I want to find out the length and height of the rectangle. So this is the length, or this is the length, right? This is the height. Okay, so if area is given, and if the rectangle is placed on the coordinate axis, above x axis, then can you find out what is the height? So what is the length first? How do I find out the length? So you see that? This is zero, right? This is zero. So this length is two, okay? The overall length up to here is 10. So how much is the length in the middle? So that length in the middle is basically the length of the uh, length of the length of the rectangle, right? So how would I write that? Is 10 minus 2? That is 8. You see that? So this length is 8. So what we have now is area is 16, length is 8. So what should be the height? How do I find out that? We know that area equals to length times the height right or length times the width you can write so area is given as 16 and length we found as 8 and now I want to find out the height right so what I did here is so height is 16 over 8 so height so height is 2 so I found height as 2 so basically what formula did I use height equals to area over the length right that's the formula I used to find out the height now what do you mean by the average height so here, the average height means since the height is same everywhere, height of the rectangle is same everywhere. So the average height is basically the two here, right? So, so but what to find out the average height or the height of the function, what we have to do is we have to find out the area and then divide that area by the length, okay? Divide area by the length. Now, I want to find out the average height of this function here. So how do I find out the average height? Because you see that some of the heights are pretty, short right some of the heights are tall you see that so what will be the average height average height must be the height between the taller and taller and the shorter values right somewhere here maybe that is the average height of the uh, of the uh, of the function here right between a and b you see that so to find out the average height or the height of the function in that interval a to b that is the average height what we do is we find out the, the area Divide by the length, right? What is the area? Area is the integral, right? So the area is basically the integral. Integral uh, from a to b, f of x, and then dx, right? And what is the length of the interval? Length of the interval is the total length is b, and then minus a will be the area be, uh, length between a and b. So that will be b minus a. That's how I find out this formula. So the height or the average height here is basically the average height, let's say. It's also called average value. Okay, average value is 1 over the length of the interval and then times the uh, the integral or the area, right? So to use this formula, the f of x must be continuous on the interval a, b, okay? So this is the formula to find out average value of a function. Next, we will see some examples on how to find average value of the function. Let us see this example. The function is fx equals to 16 minus x squared, okay? And you want to find the average height or the average value of this function in the interval negative 4 through 4. Okay. So how would the graph of this look like? So the graph of this function, if you draw the graph of this, it will look like this. So this is y-axis, this is x-axis. Okay. So the, since this is a quadratic with a negative value of the leading coefficient, so it will be a parabola. Uh, that opens downward, right? So it will look like this. So uh, this is a this is a parabola that opens downward. You see that? So this is that parabola that opens downward. So uh, this is negative four, positive four. You want to find out the average height because see, you see that close to positive four and negative four, the height of the function is shorter, and close to zero, the height is taller. So we need to have. Um, the the average is somewhere between shorter and taller, right? Maybe somewhere there. You see that? All right. So find the average value of the fx equals 16 minus x squared. 16 minus x squared in the interval negative 4 to 4. We will use this uh, use this formula. By the way, I forgot to mention that. 
to use this average for height formula or the average value formula you need to have the function continuous in the interval a b okay if it is continuous then the integral exists right you can find the integral of a continuous function in a in a finite interval so uh, so that's that's what we need okay so let us find out the uh, uh, the average height or average value of the function so the average here is equals to so what is the length the total length is b minus a this is like b this is like a right b minus a is 8 right so you you will have so negative 4 to positive 4 and then 16 minus x squared okay and then dx divide by uh, uh, 8 right so 4 minus negative 4 you see that so um, so this is 1 8th I'll pull that out and then I will find uh, I'm going to find out the integral of this what is the integral of 16 so 16 x right minus what is the integral of x square so that will be x cubed over 3 and the limits of integration are negative 4 through positive 4 you see that so this will be basically 1 over 8 now you plug in positive 4 to all x and then do minus and then negative 4 so 16 times 4 minus 4 to the cubed over 3 minus now you plug in the lower limit so let me plug in, let me start with the parenthesis 16 times negative 4 and then minus negative 4 to the cubed over 3 that's what you get okay so if you uh, simplify this what you get is 1 over 8 so 16 times 4 is 64 minus 64 over 3 you see that minus what is 16 times negative 4 negative 64 but this is negative so you'll get positive 64 you see that and then how about here so negative 4 to the third is negative 64 and then minus times uh, this negative sign times negative 64 over 3 will be positive 64 over 3 but there is negative so negative 64 over 3 okay this is what you get so uh, if you simplify this what do you get so this is negative 64 over 3 minus 64 over 3 will be negative 128 over 3 you see that and then uh, and then 64 plus 6 so if you use calculator for this you will get this you will get 32 over 3 so this is the average height of this function this function or this graph between negative 4 and positive 4 okay so how about this example find the average value of the function fx equals sine x in the interval 0 to pi do you know how does the graph of this fx equals sine x look like because if you have that sine 0 is 0 you want to find out between 0 and pi right so and then add pi over 2 sine is 1 so it will look like this again okay so you want to find out the average height of this so the average height may be uh, because you see that near zero is the average at uh, the height is z almost zero right very short and near pi it is short and near pi over two it is it is tall right this is so we need to have our average height somewhere like this between the highest and lowest height so let's see how much would that be okay so the average equals to one over b minus a is pi because this is like a, a and this is like b right and then integral 0 to pi sine x dx you see that so that will be 1 over pi and then 0 to pi so uh, let me find out the integral of sine x who remembers the integral of sine x this is basically negative cosine of x right and then 0 to pi okay so how much do you get that 1 over pi and then now plug in pi so negative cosine pi negative cosine of pi you see that and then minus uh, negative means it, this will be positive right because when you take the uh, upper limit you just plug in here and then do minus and then take the lower limit so when you do minus and then take the lower limit that has also negative sign so cosine zero cosine zero you see that so that will be one over pi so what is cosine negative cosine of pi cosine pi is negative one so there is another negative so it will be positive one plus one cosine zero is one right so basically you get two over pi which is smaller than one because at pi over two the height is one so the average height is two over pi you see that this is how we find out the uh, average height or average value of a function